Hey everyone, Kwame here. Um, it's been a minute, but I thought I'd drop a new tutorial. And well, I'm sure a number of you have encountered this with Fluid Engine, where if you have an accordion next to an image, it zooms in or increases the size, changes the aspect ratio, etc., of the image when you open it. It's not ideal. It's a little bit frustrating. Um, I've seen some fixes. None of them have, have really been great because you end up dabbling with media queries. And I've kind of ignored it, even though I've known about it because I haven't had to deal with it myself personally. But I've been working on a client site today and decided enough was enough. I'm going to build a fix. Uh, you can skip ahead if you're not bothered about the specifics, the how and why this happens. But if you are, you know, keep watching. So first things first, let's right click, inspect. Here's my inspector. I'm going to scroll up a little bit to... Where are we here? The fluid engine element. You can see as I'm hovering, it's showing a little grid in the background. So I'm going to click here and let's take a look. So that's our grid. Cool. These accordion titles are the click, or sorry, rather accordion item click targets, which is the title. When you click that, that's what's expanding things. And you'll notice the grid squares increase in height because when it expands, it's not adding rows to the grid. It's not saying, okay, we need an extra three rows and we're going to increase that. And because these two elements share the same number of rows, when one increases in height, the other has to match. In my case, I've specifically chosen to set this image here to fill to make the you know, effect it has a little bit more obvious, but kind of makes sense now, right? Cool. So what we kind of want this to do is to preserve its size its aspect ratio. And that's the real big thing when things change and not expand. How do we do that? So I'm going to save you the nitty gritty of how I figured this out. It's nothing too fancy, but essentially this element here, the fluid image container, SQS image content element. I noticed on my client site that these width and height values were changing because I was trying to make the element fit. Now, in this case, I've set it to fill, so it's just 100%, 100%. However, I can copy those. Those are the classes. Period, paste it in, join these two, and put a period in between, so I know that it's selecting both, or sorry, an element with both of those classes. Um, open my curly brackets, and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say height, auto, and I'm going to make that important so it overrides the existing CSS. Oh no, my image is gone. Totally not the end of the world. Don't worry about that. Next thing, right click, inspect again. Go down the cascade a little bit and find these URLs here. The one for SRC for the image. Hover over it and it gives me a intrinsic size, intrinsic aspect ratio, etc. I'm basically just going to take that intrinsic aspect ratio and change the colon for a slash. So two five hundred by thousand six hundred and sixty three aspect ratio. Here we're going to do two five hundred space over one six six three. My semicolon. And look, it's kept its size. Even as the grid changes, no problems. However, in this case, I really don't like how it's centered like that. So. I didn't actually think of this before, but let's see if we can fix that out. So cool, we have a flex element here. And then the uh, element that we're targeting is slap bang in the middle. If I look at this here and I pull across, we'll see it has justify content center. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste it into my custom CSS and I'll just change it to flex start. See if I second. Let's check if it's flex is column or which might be the reason why. Uh, display flex. Ah, so actually, I should have really gone with align items. No worries. Let's change justify content to align items. And boom, it stays at the top. Uh, let's also get rid of this grid because we don't need that anymore. So scrolling back up to the fluid engine element, hide that. Awesome, works really well. 
This will continue to work. So if I add some more content down here, in fact, I could go in and add that now, but it would still push it down like normal, but this image remains unaffected. Nice and easy. Uh, things you might want to consider is adding a block ID here at the beginning of each of these so that it only targets your specific block, especially because this aspect ratio is going to be specific to whatever image it is you are using. Um, yeah, that's it. I mean, you can do more interesting things. So for example, if I wanted this to stay square, I can just put it as aspect ratio one. If I wanted to have just a couple of aspect ratios I'm using throughout the site, I might do something like that. And then I know it will always work. Three, uh, two. Problem solved. So summary, fluid engine, sorry, fluid image container, SQS image content, target that, that element, set the height to auto important, figure out the aspect ratio by inspecting the image itself, hovering over the source, and then just doing the aspect ratio. Uh, the rendered aspect ratio will show if the image is visible. So if you hadn't already done the height auto and you went straight to the aspect ratio, you could also probably use that. Um, but I like to use the intrinsic. And then this align items flex start is literally just if you want it to be, you know, always at the top or always at the bottom. Hope this has helped a few of you. And yeah, like, subscribe, etc. Drop me a message if you would like any other tutorials or more explanation.